So today we're looking at the Prime Icon 91 rated check. We did review his World Cup card on the channel, so I thought, why not? His left foot is six foot five, one star skill move, three star weak foot. Got okay statistics. I mean, the acceleration and speed is kind of normal for a goalkeeper to be that slow. And then we got giant throw or long throw, sorry, team player caution with crosses. I personally prefer goalkeepers that have uh, come out for crosses, but we'll see how we get on. We've gone for a basic chem style. I'll talk about chem styles pricing, what I thought about the card and much more at the end of the review. We'll be playing in Elite Division Rivals just to show you now that you can have a look and see what the skill rating is. And we're just going to see how he gets on in a couple games or maybe just one or two games because I think goalkeepers are a little bit inconsistent at times. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay. Have a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So let's see how Check gets on today. We are playing in a 4 triple 2 system. The main thing I find with goalkeepers, it's very uh, random if they decide they're going to play or not. So it looks like our opponent actually might not be playing. No, he is. There we go. Get the ball back to check for a minute. So he doesn't have his hat in game, just like his World Cup one doesn't, or they've updated it. A couple of things I will say, he is quite big, and I like big goalkeepers. They seem to do way better. I normally have gold Courtois and go, and I do think he is probably the best goalkeeper in the game, personally. So I don't mind him being that big. It's just the caution with crosses is what I'm worried about the most. Comes with a cross. And there is the first shot on target. And our opponent has scored it right at check as well. So that is not the best start. Not even from the best card in the game. Yeah, the card's okay. But he should be doing better there. I am letting our opponent take a couple shots, as it were. Just to test how good he is. And so far, that's not the best start I want from him. Get him shoot across. And that's two out of two shots gone in now. Check <laughs> not making a single save. So that's always good news. I don't expect him to save everything, but maybe one save would be nice. Again, we'll let our opponent keep going through. I should grab ourselves a goal back. I can't keep letting my opponent go through too much because I need the uh, the win <laughs> for the rewards. But I would like Check to make maybe one or two saves. Would be very nice. Welcome to Elite Division, ladies and gentlemen. Now our opponent's going to hold the ball around in the back in 15 minutes. And we've made it 2 all on a counter-attack, so we're back in the game now. Hopefully our opponent will stop running around the back and refusing to shoot now. Oh, we'll let him run through, see if he can cut it back, see if we can save it. It's a bad tackle from our opponent. We'll keep the ball. Get back to chat. I want to check out what his distribution's like. So we've got a player at the top there. Can we play it to him? I mean, that's a pretty good pass. We can't complain too much with his distribution. I played that ball several times. Now we've got ourselves a lovely little attack down the line. There's one on one with a goalkeeper, and that's three shots that have gone in out of three. Check has not made a single save so far. <laughs> What's his goalkeeper? Um, that one I think he really should have saved because it wasn't like it was in top corner. <laughs> it's right at the goalkeeper. We will check these on the replay at the end. But so far, three out of three shots have gone in. And I'd say you should have saved maybe two of them. Yes, I'm giving our opponent a chance to shoot. So there is the first save from Czech. I am letting our opponent shoot to test out Czech. This is where I expect him to do well on corners. But this is not what you want to see from your goalkeeper that you've just spent 280k on. <laughs> for him to concede three out of three shots. Right, he's got through him behind. Let's see if Czech can make a save here. We're going to drag him out to play the pass, and it's a terrible pass in the end, so Czech doesn't need to. But I'm noticing he doesn't really get off his line often, so those type of passes, he doesn't seem to want to come out and stop at all. If we just beat Van Dyke to a header there. And that is a big red flag for me. I don't like goalkeepers that don't come off their line a little bit because they ain't going to close down any of those. Just move this goalkeeper. And how we haven't scored, I don't know. But at least his goalkeeper makes saves. That is half time. So, so far, our opponents had four shots. Three have gone in. And like I said, we'll check at the end of the game on replays to see whether he should definitely have saved them. But I am not very impressed by Czech as of so far. Very, very similar to his World Cup card. Some games he's amazing. Most games he's absolutely terrible. And you can't be having a goalkeeper conceding almost 100% of the shots. You see, he's only had four shots. Expected goals 1.3 and he scored three because three of them have gone in. So let me go make some changes to our team. So into the second half we go. Like I said, four shots, three in. Not the best record so far from Czech. Hopefully he can turn it around in the second half and it was a little bit of an unfortunate fluke. Because we do need to try and take the lead at the same time. So I've got myself a bit of a problem here. Do I let my keep, uh, opponent keep going through on goal or do I try and win this game? 
We do get ourselves the equalizer there because if I keep dominating the game, we're not going to see how good Czech is, and the whole point of Czech is to see how good he is. <laughs> right, we got ourselves a bit of a disadvantage here. He's pushed up his left back. Hopefully, he can get the ball in and Czech can sort of deal with it. Kind of letting him try to get shot off if we can. Surely he's got to shoot from here. And we got our AI to block it to protect Czech. So we, he probably would have saved that one. He's going to come out for the cross. No, he's not. It's a bad cross in the end. We've got ourselves on a counter attack here. Lovely bit of skill. Ribery through. Right, he's got us in behind here. Surely there's a bit of a weird glitch of the speed boost going on here. But surely, check if he gets a shot, it's going to make a save. But why does he keep playing it back? Take a shot. I want to check out check. I can't just let him run through and be shooting on open goals because no keeper saving that. But <laughs> what's this guy doing? There we go. Okay, there we go then. So that is now four shots on target, four goals, zero saves from Czech when they're on target, apart from one that kind of just hit him. So out of five shots, he saved one. All other four have gone in, not even gone wide. Uh, even our AI has blocked a shot as well. So I am going to say this his keeper is 100% not worth buying in this situation. We'll be honest, I don't think he's worth almost 300,000 coins. This feels like a bit of a scam. So he's got himself in a situation here to shoot a cross goal. And he's kicked it wide. So we don't even get to see, <laughs> don't even get to see check there. He's going to make some more changes. Like I said, I'm really not liking check at all. I will be honest. I do find that he is very, very lacking. When it comes to his actual job, he's not the best. He comes out for corners if you make him. And he hasn't really had to capitalize on height. That's fantastic. But his most important thing is to stop shots. He's not stopped a single shot. He's, I think, one actually have lied. So out of five shots, four have gone in. We're four, three down. I could have maybe scored a couple goals to make it 4 all, but it's one of those where we need our keeper to do his job as well as our attackers are, and he's just not quite doing it at this minute. So unfortunately, now our opponent is just playing it round the back. He's refusing to attack. Oh, that's the furthest he's gone, or maybe he might actually attack now. But this is what happens in Elite Division when someone gets a lead. They refuse to move forward. So he's one on one. We need check to come out a little bit. He's come out nice and early, and he nearly got ball robber. We'll take that as a good save. The first save he's made in the 88th minute there. He's got through one on one, and again, another shot's gone in. So that's now technically five shots on target that have gone in. And check has let us down. This is possibly one of the worst goalkeepers I've used in FIFA. Stick to gold courtois. Don't use check. Don't complete his SPC. If he gets one, don't buy him off the market for nearly 300,000 coins. This goalkeeper is terrible, as that is the game. Now, we'll have a look at some of the replays to see. Maybe, you know, he couldn't have saved them. They were near impossible shots. But that is an absolutely dreadful performance. You can see here, Czech has got himself a 5.8. He had uh, three dribbles out of three done. Fantastic. All passes were really good as well. In terms of actual goalkeeping, six shots on target. One save, five conceded. His save rate is 17%. <laughs> well, that's terrible. Uh, well, we'll go have a look at match highlights now at all of our opponents' goals. So here is the first shot. Let's see how good it was from the goalkeeper's point of view. So he's come out, and yeah, he should, de <laughs> he should definitely be saving that. There's nobody blocking his view. It's gone right at him. It's literally at his foot, and he's moved his hand away not to save it. So, okay, that one's definitely his fault. On to the second one. Move it forward into the situation. So again, these ones do tend to go in. And he's dived so late that he's not even closer. I could have moved the keeper and saved it. But we want to see if he can save it himself. And again, that is his fault. He should be saving that one. Then we've got shot number three that was on target. Mm, I think Czech should be saving it. I didn't tell him to come out. He's run out and his hand... Has moved away from the ball so i'll let you think what you think of that one i think that should be a save as well personally so those three should definitely be saved on to our next shot move the camera around the other way this one's a harder one i will admit because the keeper's already moved in a bad position and he hasn't really dived at all there he's just sort of let it roll through so i don't know i think this is a no from the goalkeeper let's go jump onto footbin now so we are on footbiz at 285k. There are rumors he's coming out an SBC. If you're really desperate to try check, what I would personally look at is probably his World Cup card. It's only minus ones, minus twos, 175,000. 
Never use his base or his mid because I've always gone for gold check. But the World Cup card I also thought was very, very inconsistent. But the Prime seems to be worse somehow. We went for a basic. I don't think any chem style would have made him better in any situation, to be honest. I know a lot of people say, oh, you should have gone for maybe a cat to boost up acceleration or a shield to boost up his sprint speed. I don't think it makes a difference, personally. Because he's got that high and average body type and that speed. It just means he doesn't dive across like we saw. His passing's fantastic. I don't have a problem with his passing. But his actual one-on-one -on -one saves. One of the worst keepers I've used. I know a lot of people are going to say he does amazing for me. Don't forget, I was in elite division, so people know how to finish. You need your goalkeeper to make those saves. If you're looking for a goalkeeper, just go by Courtois. He is the best goalkeeper in the game. This is the reason. These are only about 54,000 coins, and he's just so much better, so far, so clear. And he doesn't, check doesn't offer you anything in terms of chemistry unless you have other Czech Republic players, which we know there isn't many of, so you're not going to get full chemistry with him. Not much else to talk about, really. You saw what you saw. I showed you the replays. Very, very disappointed with this card. If you have any more questions or anything like that, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, we do cover a lot of icon reviews, player reviews, pack openings, and much more. So if you like that sort of stuff, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. See ya.